Cool. I was in that vein too. I'm, I'm mad about it. <laughs> that requirement, dude, you know. man, my bro, y'all. That's how. That's how I know we haven't. That's how I know we saying what needs to be said. <laughs> Cause when the last time my stuff, be, my stuff don't be doing this, bro. Y'all know I be keeping my stuff intact. My keep coming back in. I'm sorry, y'all. It's it's really not my fault. I, I own God is not. He my witness. <laughs> it's not my fault, y'all. I don't. I do not have them type of alarms on my phone like that. And like I don't be having stuff set up like that. It's like that's just how I know we talking about some real stuff and stuff, stuff that people need to hear. But I say all that to say, bro, is like expect to bring it back to what we're really talking about. Young men, especially young black men, it's okay to dig deep. It's okay. Cause that's the thing. That's the thing that might be stopping you from your next level of athleticism. There's a certain emotion that you need to tap into or that you need to be familiar with to be a better athlete, to be a better business owner, to be a better person, to be a better husband, a better father, a better whatever. If you're not if you're not really being true with yourself and real with yourself, then you can't tap into the other things that's really meant for you because you don't know how to deal with that. What if what if all of that being that you don't know how to process your anger, right? And you know you can be ang- you can be angry about a lot of things and you get passionate about things, but being that you don't work on that or you don't acknowledge that and learn how to use that as your flame, you're denying yourself your next level. Prime example. I wasn't I'm not saying I'm not saying I was like a horrible songwriter, you know, singer rapper, stuff like that. But there's certain levels I wasn't allotted to until we started working together. Because there were certain things he would push out of me emotionally with the words. Like when y'all gonna hear this EP we working on, y'all, bro. But like when there were certain things he was saying and certain beats we was making to where like it pushed me. You know, and like there was days where like, you know, we'll make a beat and he'll be the right half of the song and I'm sitting there like, I ain't got not a first line for this verse yet. You know, because like it's that is that caliber of music It's that caliber of emotion and transparency. But if you don't have somebody or something you can use to make you aware of the level that you need and to push you further into it, you just not going you just not going to get it. You know what I'm saying? But you, you got to allow yourself to go there mm-hmm. if you don't allow. What's the what's that song? When we talked about the one of the most one of the most the, the most meaningful songs we have on the EP is called Heavy and like. That is such a transparent, real song. Yeah. Like, it's one of them things. I see the thing peeking over. I must be hollering. Um, <laughs> it's such a it's such a transparent, real song because it's one of them things to where it's like the things we talk about on that song and the way we tell a story is not your typical song. It's not like oh the beat driving and blah 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 blah. You gonna be it's only like a, a one little audio loop that we made of like a piano and a little mixed vocal. But we're telling a story. It's like what a three, four minute long song. I want to say something like, that. something like that. And like I tell my side of the story. He said, "Send me the heavy." <laughs> I can't send it yet. I can't. Send, it's not. <laughs> nah, I can't. I can't. I can't. But it's coming out soon, y'all. It's coming out real soon. Oh yeah. But um, it's like it's it's the story. Cause I'm re- I'm really good at telling at telling stories. Whenever I finally got the visual in my head. But like, there's a story that um that I was telling about. Well, I I can. Well, I was giving too much away. My story is about um, a couple who are madly in love with each other, but they are no good for each other. And being trained, and it's the, it's the guys, it's both, it's actually, I talk, I talk from the guy and the girl standpoint because, you know, I wrote the story. But it's like, well, my side of the story, his side of the story on the song is different. And um, it's a real moment of transparency. They talk about like domestic violence and like emotional trauma and toxic behaviors. And, but at the same time, I could turn around and be like, man, I wish. You know, but at the same time in the song, the guy is like, well, I blame it on your pride. I blame it on the times. I blame it on my pride. At least he's being, you know, he's being real about it because the whole point of it is to be transparent throughout all the hell they put each other through in all the high water. They still somehow manage to be transparent with each other and find and find like that real, that real. How can I put it? Just be authentic about now before I even ask you this question. Do you want to talk about your, your story on, on that song or no? Yeah, I can. And I'm going to let him talk about his half. Good morning, Joy. I think uh, for me, mine was just, I mean, I was in a, a toxic relationship. And I mean, my verse is pretty much about choosing yourself. Like a first round draft pick. Like a first round draft that's pick. My, that's my favorite line, boy. <laughs> <laughs> choosing yourself. Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you just got to. Uh, because, I mean, when in a toxic relationship, just being real, it's not all on the other person. Facts. Sometimes I was being toxic, mm-hmm. you know. But at the people same, need to hear that. Listen up, know, some of y'all up in here need to hear that. And uh, some sometimes it's kind of interesting, like with relationships, because I mean, you know, with the verse, it, it's like I, I put it to where she was doing more, you know, more negative things to where it was like, okay, like 
this is not healthy to mm-hmm. the point where it's like, all right, like you're like you're the reason why, you know, I'm feeling these negative things and like that's not happening. Like I'm I'm trying to elevate and, mm-hmm. and get, you know, out of this. So it's that situation that I feel like and I just explained it in a way that's like captivating, you know, in a way where like talking about I'm the groom that didn't show up. He was flowing. You know? <laughs> he was flowing. When y'all hit his song, boy, that nigga was flowing, boy. I was, I was recording. I was like, yo, I'm like, you all right, bro? Like, it's, God, so, it's just so crazy, man. Because like thinking about the first line, I'm the groom. I'm the groom that didn't, didn't show up. up. It's like so many people like will know, man. Like you know, you've been through so much with so much more bad things with a person than good but still like you know go through with a yes you know, sir like That's marriage real. and stuff like that and That's for me real. it was like coming to that realization of like i could have been the person that was like you know really committing to something that you know you should not be committing to that mm-hmm. it is not good it's not healthy you have you have too many moments of negativity rather than positivity mm-hmm. but some people will still you know just because just being i don't know what what the reason would be but for me, it was like, nah, I can't, I can't let that happen to me. Nah, mm-hmm. you know, even if it's the day of the wedding, it's like I'm not going, right? Because I'm not gonna tie myself or commit myself to something that I know will not be successful because of the toxicity that's involved. Awareness, in you know, it's how he's talking yeah, about that's awareness. That's pretty much all I'm, yeah, pretty much all I'm saying. Even if it's the last minute, you know, save yourself. <laughs> Save yourself Honestly. when it comes to, you know, especially when it comes to, like, toxic relationships mm-hmm. and stuff. If you know, man, save yourself. But it'd it be hard, you know, and I think that's why I wanted to touch on that because in toxic, I mean, when you're in a toxic relationship, I feel like it's something there that is attractive. The something sex there, be good. Yeah, the sex is The, the sex conversations is be yeah, lit. Like, it, it ain't just bad. I mean, if we just going to be honest about it. For you, you know what I'm saying? All that, yeah. It ain't all doom and gloom. <laughs> it's just that yeah, exactly. you just have more <laughs> negative things that I can't tolerate or I don't want or we can't really fix. We can't fix that. Because, like, know. fixing... That's one, that's one thing people need to need to realize. Being exactly like you said, love or lust, real. But um, real talk, real talk. People, people need to understand that, there, like I said this before, there's so many people... On this planet, bro, mm-hmm. and, and around us, to where like you really don't have to settle, but at the same time, be real, yeah. because there's a difference between oh, I'm not selling because that person is not what I want and blah 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 blah. But don't let your wants get in the way of what you need, mm. because everybody know what they want. Everybody know was was you know was shiny to them and was attractive to them. But what you need has to outweigh what you want, because the wants, bro, them things could go away. You know, that person may not look like that for the rest of their life. They may not be shaped like that for the rest of their life. But at the end of the day, most black men need a black woman that's going to understand and be there for you emotionally. That's going to be able to get through life with you. That's going to be able to tell you about yourself because I would hate to be a man that just got it all figured out and I'm a know it all and blah, 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 blah. And I'm leading blah, blah, blah. But I don't have a queen that could sit there and tell me about myself. Exactly. A lot of if you go back and read the history books. Some of the best empires were ran by women and were helped and aided by women. You know what I'm saying? Real women. War like great war leaders were women. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you if you if you can't if you can't see beyond your wants, I me personally, I feel as though you just don't need to be dating. You know, if you're just gonna be out there doing your thing or whatever, go ahead, be a Mac, that's your life, that's that's you. Man. But at the same time, it's like like, cause I mean, I'm saying that cause I had to learn that the hard way. I mean, you know what I didn't been through with these women. It's like, dude, <laughs> like y'all, like for all y'all that really know me, y'all know how I am with women. You know, it's like, I, man, I'm very hard on women because it's like, I didn't been hurt so much trying to be the nice guy, trying to be the gentleman, trying to be this, that, and the third and denying myself of what I needed in a relationship because, oh, she's pretty. Oh, well, she has these qualities that, you know, some qualities that my mom has that, okay, well, you know, if she can match my mom then blah, 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 blah. Nah, bro. I know I need a me personally. I'm not speaking for nobody else. I need a chick that's going to put me back in line whenever I roll out because I can be stubborn. Somebody that's going to be real about me. Somebody that's going to be passionate about me. Somebody that's going to show me that you want me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that, you know, we chase women, you know what I'm saying? And like the women are the prize, but I want to be appreciated too. You know what I'm saying? Like, show me you ride for me. Show me, show me that you really love me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, man, look, I could be picky, but at the same time, I've come to learn that you know it, as long as i put my needs before my wants and you know, sprinkle sprinkle you some wants in there but if but as long but you know i noticed too 
the more you you cater to what you need, what you want follows. Man, bro. You Cause think about I just made three years with Amber on the on the eleventh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh well, I didn't want to this that and the third because my wants did outweigh my needs before I really got to know her. But it was so beautiful that the more I got to, to know her. I started seeing my needs in her rather than my wants and vice versa. There's a lot, man. It may look, I'll tell you, that's another thing too. It may look good on social media. Most people will post up, oh, well, they've been together this long and they look so beautiful. The relationship that lasts is the relationship that be behind closed doors digging in each other guts. Like really like, hey, bro, I don't like how you talk to me like this. I don't like this, that, and the third. We need to fix this because you need to have a partner, especially as a, as a, black, a strong black man. You need to have a partner that can get in your face. And not, I'm, I'm not talking like on oh, no domestic violence, like blank you and blank. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is like, you know, have somebody that know how to reach you whenever you in that place. Because that's a lot of our problems as, as young black men. Granted, I'm grateful that I grew up in a household to where I was able to express myself emotionally and my parents were there to talk to me. But the majority of households are not built like that these days. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, you start crying. Are you expressing yourself? Oh, tough enough, boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you know, like, no, men don't cry. Boys don't cry, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But luckily for me, I had, and, and you know what's crazy? Most people think I'm talking about my mom, even though she was like that with me, well, meaning like to console me. My mom was like that, but my daddy was really there a lot to like to guide me through my fears and guide me through my emotions because me and that dude a carbon copy. I have flares of my mama, don't get me wrong. I'm almost just like my mama, but like my, the origins of me, like the core of me, I'm just like my dad. You know, so it's like you gotta, you just gotta find you a partner that's gonna sit there and like really be able to meet you in your anger that's not gonna get scared of you when you get angry or that knows how to reach you in the, but that's whenever you take the time to really like i said before see what you need before you see what you want because it's real especially these days man. they throwing booty and they throwing titties all over instagram they throwing twerk videos man it, man it, you could get caught up ball when i tell you you bro, could get caught up these days you got to stay focused when Shoot. i tell you 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 really like you you man you you knock it out of the park with what you're saying because I'm thinking about my friend out who was out there, you know, and mm -hmm. he was in Missouri too. And I never forget, you know, before I got in that relationship, just getting mm -hmm. back kind of getting back to that, I was telling him like what I wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, Man, I wanted this I want this, I wanna make music, I want a female that blah 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 mm -hmm. blah and I got what I wanted. And when it ended oh, when weeks. it ended bad, he he was a real one. He was mm -hmm. like you said that's what you wanted, right? Mm -hmm. You said you wanted to make music. You said you wanted the girl that... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got that. You got what you wanted. And it didn't work out how you would have wanted it to work out. Right. You know, so what you're saying about wants and needs, that's so huge. Because I, I think that's that was another thing that uh, aided in, like, just my shift as, like, a human being. Because mm -hmm. I had this perception of, like, man, that all I need is music. You know, excluding God. Like, all mm -hmm. I need is music. All I need is a female that whatever whatever and when i got what i wanted i saw that wasn't enough mm -hmm. or it wasn't what i needed right you know because it, it 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 did more bad than good you know in that in that time thank god i was able to get out of the situation and yeah. every, everybody good and nothing crazy happened thank god you know because it, it could have been that but thank god for his grace and his mercy in that situation but just saying you know i got what i, I got what i wanted mm -hmm. and it, it turned out to be you know, uh, a moment in my life that I, I I feel like I'll look back on and, and be like, man, that was bad, and I learned from that. So yeah, man, wants mm -hmm. and needs, that's something that's very, that, very, that's very one thing, monumental. Right that's there. one thing y'all gotta realize. Yeah, we living in the new day and age with all this technology and stuff like that, but to our core, no matter how you want to dress it up, we are men. People are primal. We have primal instincts. We're humans. We come from that that area. Mm -hmm. What that 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 type of uh, of creation so it's like i'm not saying nothing's necessarily wrong with you wanting to have this type of shape woman and you right. know this type of chick this freaky chick or this calm chick or you know like i'm not that's right. that's instinctual but what i'm saying what we're saying is is like okay he didn't say what he didn't uh he put his wants before his knees and look what happened i'm saying i, I learned to put my knees before my wants and look what happened so look so what we essentially saying is one be aware and two be real you know what I'm saying? Because like it's one of the things to where it's like I had I was in something similar in college. I ain't gonna say her name, but um, cause a lot of people up here know who I'm talking about. Shawty, mm. Shawty was bad. <laughs> I'm talking about nah, son. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Shawty was bad, son. 
and everything that I, that I like she yeah, was doing yeah. you know but like we just couldn't we couldn't get to that next level of right. clicking because it was like it's just like what I needed she couldn't give that to me and vice versa Man. she didn't say it but I mean you as people we could feel that you could feel when you ain't enough for somebody and not like oh well you're less than the person it's not when I say you not you not enough for somebody else, not meaning like oh well I'm I'm weaker I'm I'm not important. It's just that your puzzle piece doesn't fit with theirs because everybody has we have similar puzzle pieces, but like when you really start clicking with a certain type of chick that you know you need, mm-hmm. like it just it just clicks. You know what I'm saying? So like for all the people that's like really married and like like Kend- prime example Kendall, Kend- man I, first of all Kendall I love y'all marriage bro Kendall so transparent, but like I mean bless, bless. you know what I'm saying it's like Kendall found the thing that clicked. Kendall found a Kendall was like, okay, what can I do? Or prime and not in the grand, I don't know their full story, but I can only imagine based off of what I see on social media, like what the talks me and him then had, is like he got somebody, like I said before, that could talk let me talk to you. You out of line, let me talk to you. And probably vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's one of those situations to where y'all really gotta tap into what you need more than what you want because what you want is flashy. I get it. It's flashy. Everybody else probably got what they want. You know, it look a, it look a certain type of way. But y'all don't be knowing what's going on behind like closed doors, man. You got people that got what they want. Grown men got what they want and getting beat up because they got chicks different these days. But them chicks will put their hands on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like or, or like I don't want to lose the girl that look like she got the BBL and got the money and this that and the third because it's a she a status symbol. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh well if I let her go then dang. What do I really, you know, it's like I can't keep her. Yeah, you value, like, value in that. A prime example, because you know, women these days, well, not all women, but like the, the type of women that I'm about to talk about, you know, they like they like to be taken care of, float, fluid out, and all this type of stuff. And I mean, nothing wrong with that if you like to find the things. For sure. But that don't that doesn't mean for the man to cap. Don't sit there and be like, oh, well, and flash like you got it and get half for what you got. Because people are like, if y'all go watch Poor Minds, Olga, like Drea. Drill fine, but Drill gonna test your pockets if you like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like don't lie to get what you want. Be like, imagine, imagine having to live 20 plus years of a lie. You got what you wanted, but it really ain't what you need, and you don't feel right with it. And now you gotta live. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta live life like that. I'm not about to live in a lie. I, that costs too much. Law forbid you make kids with the person. Now you got kids you don't want. My God. Are you trying to live your life vicariously through your children? You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's yes. like, if we just going to be real about it. Man, I'll tell you what. It's it's funny how things work out, man. Because, you know, I don't even, you know, I have no shame in the fact that, you know, with with my situation, it was mm-hmm. like, at the at the end, I, you know, I had, I had broke up with the person so many times. You yeah, know, y'all was on a roller coaster ball. Got back together, but then at the end, the last the last situation, she broke up with me. Now, granted, we were still talking and mess, you know, doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. But y'all nasty. like, <laughs> <laughs> but she she ended it with me, and it was like one of those things where I really had a like a ego check because it was yes, like, sir. Okay, when when you was the one, like I said, it's not always the other person being toxic. When I was the one constantly like being open and. Saying you know I just don't want to be with you blah 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 mm-hmm. and, and it's only a, for so long a person go, yeah it's only so long a person gonna be like please don't be that way mm-hmm. please keep me in your life eventually it got to the point where it was like okay all right you know and it's it, a stroke of the ego yeah, too because it, it feel it, good it, to it be like right. if we're gonna if we're gonna keep it a book <laughs> it feel but that's why I say be real about yourself and what right. you want it feel right. good to be able to be like. Oh, I don't really like, you know, I'm not really rocking with you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, baby, don't go. Oh, baby, oh, and yeah, then y'all end up, you know, like, right. she'll do whatever to keep you. I know what I'm talking about. Right. And it, right. it's an ego stroke. It is, but is. you got to, you got to, you got to just ascend past that, bro. There you go. You got to ascend, and I'm glad you did. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. and honestly, you know what? Now I'm glad you did. I'm glad life hit you the way it did. Man. Because if Smack it didn't, you probably would have still been in that cycle. <sighs> or you probably would have just been coming out of that cycle. Because it, it's hard, bro, especially, like, to know... It's like to be torn, to know that you want to do better and be better and go for what you want, but mm-hmm. at the same time to feel powerful in the moment. Right, right. We're right. young. We're full of testosterone. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're full of ego. And mm-hmm. you got to be real. Like, the, we're, we're full of ourselves as young men. Yeah. If we're just going to keep it a buck, most of us are really full of ourselves. And we haven't crossed that threshold of being real with ourselves. But then when you cross, like you did, you know, life hit you. And it made you be real with you. Well, you already real with yourself. A lot more real with yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, so man. like now I look at you, and like and you know what's crazy? It aff- it affects more than just your love life because that dude mute your music, your yeah. writing. It just whoop. 
yeah. it came up. The I'm way you live you. came up. Man, I tell, you know what I'm saying? I, I tell you what, that, now that's something that's that's facts, bro. Because and and that's why I'm glad that we we're being open and talking about it because, like you said, it, it is an ego an ego thing, and I think I had to really get checked on that because even with that, you know, like talking about like how I've been better, but. Just on the flip side of that, like, mm-hmm. you know, this person, you know, lives elsewhere. What if they start doing better? Exactly. Get in better shape. You exactly. know, you can't be mad that, you know, it wasn't right mm-hmm. at the time and it needed to happen in order for the change that right. occurred, you know. Because just like to, we'll be mad about somebody glowing up after they left us, somebody mad that you glowed up exactly. after them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so, yeah, it, it's, it's hard, It's hard, bro. It's hard to be real with yourself sometimes, but like yeah. you got to go through life. Got to. You don't really, I'm not going to say, because you got people like people like us, we go through life, but a lot of the lessons we learned was watching other people go through life, mm-hmm. but not everybody built like that. Right. And as humans, we just naturally have to go through life to understand there's certain facets of relationships and love and finance stuff I had to learn. I had to just go through it before like I actually understood it. I mean, you see how I move with my business and stuff like that do you, you know do you feel as that way because like those things are things that you have to deal with personally you know like you have to deal with things like that on an individual basis but yeah you because people it, because you know, we need experiences it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a difference between right. it's a difference between me watching a documentary on somebody who made it in life with money as opposed to me experiencing the ups right. exactly yeah, you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, we yeah. need to go through life facts because if you don't go through them experiences it's like yeah, you could you could learn like YouTube. You know they call it YouTube University now. It's like yeah, you could watch people run their Shopify's and run this, and run this, that, and the third. But if you don't take them first steps, you think you know a lot. Like I thought I knew a lot about this holistic health stuff until I had to start. Because before I do any product, any lesson, I have to digest that for myself. I have to understand that, and I have to make these. Because I'm I'm in there. I mean, you see me. I be putting my herbs and stuff together. Like I be really trying to get this stuff together. Yeah, you, you I didn't, man. Thing. I didn't have bad diarrhea behind the colon cleanse that <laughs> I thought I was doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I had to figure it out. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like people don't understand, man. Like you gotta, you just it's 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 not wrong to go through life, but just be aware. Some things you're going through because you just have to go through it. It ain't no, oh, woe is me and this, that, and the third. Just get through it. Get action and get options and see what you can do to get through it rather than just, just wallow and just be sad because you're making excuses for your growth. Yeah. You know, like, and that's the thing. I feel like the world is so shashe and patty cake and not to where we don't want to have that hard truth no more. It's like, oh, I'm depressed, this, that, and the third. Okay, it's your responsibility to get up out that trench. Man. That's uh, regardless of how you do it, you got to get up out of there, bro. I know that was true for me, you know, because like when they had me on like the Prozac and stuff, when I was going through that that depression, man, it's like after a while I started to tell myself like I don't want to take this stuff, you right? Know? Like, I, I just didn't. And you want don't have to, to. you know. It, it was it was tough because you know people encouraged me to like to stay on there because there there's some people that like they need that like right. in life like they 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 take it every day like they have mm-hmm. always have a prescription you know they are, so it's like one of those things where it's like I try to be like real careful because I know that people really out here dealing with a lot no, facts uh, facts so and, and some people need to be medicated but for me personally it was just like man I, it just it didn't feel right for right. me to continue because you was being I, aware. I wanted to, yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah, so that was that's true for me for sure. Mm-hmm. I, I just knew I had to get off of that. So what did you do? Being that you didn't want to, you didn't want to do anything externally to fix your internal problems. What did you do? Man, at the time, I, I really just started changing my mindset. You know, mm-hmm. I think at one point, you know, I would I would be the woe is me. A, a woe is life really mm-hmm. I, I would take it to uh, like the extreme like woe is life you know like everybody gotta you know gotta deal with suffering and deal with pain and deal with and it sucks and it's not fair mm-hmm. you know I would just kind of stay there so I just started to change my my mentality and started to want better for myself mm-hmm. you know I, I think I just genuinely had a time where it was like man all right it's time to it's it's time to to do something bro like you you've been talking a lot mm-hmm. you know and then it went from just talking about it to not doing nothing at all you know to just being complacent and that just wasn't i just knew that's not life that's not living right. and right it just didn't make sense to me that like to have certain gifts and not use them like that it, i think that realization too was something that really helped me 
you know, in the time of doing the other things that needed to be done during that time, like going to work and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But even with that, like wanting a better, you know, wanting the better mm-hmm. jobs and stuff and like that. And congratulations on your new job. Thank you, man. Jesus Christ, Appreciate congratulations. That. Yeah, and, and it, it just having that on my mind, it all manifested. Mm-hmm. You know, like the better job came. The, the, you know, everything that I had been when contemplating. You started dealing with yourself. And start when I was mm-hmm. dealing with what I felt like I needed to do for my own personal growth. Wanting to have good friends, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? All those things like worked out. Wanted, you know, wanting to be in peaceful, positive environments. All of, you know, because it plays a role, y'all. Yeah, it really, it huge. really does. But what you surround yourself with, Oof. not to say that you'll be a product of your environment per se, but it's more so like if you're surrounding yourself and you're open to the good influences or the good environments you put yourself around. What's mm-hmm. so wrong with growing? Yeah. What's so wrong with being happy? What's so wrong with? letting everything go and like really rebuilding yourself in a better way because mm-hmm. we can always rebuild we can always be better better men we can always be better forms of ourselves because if we decide to stay stagnant and not really decide to grow and build on ourselves then who are we that realization right there so you just articulated that perfect when you act like what did i do it was just coming to that realization that awareness mm-hmm. i think that's what really changed everything you know f- for me personally so thank mm-hmm. god for that because like I said, it's not like I could have made, like I literally was thinking a completely different way, like in right. myself. Right. And then something happened, something changed. And, you know, I, I think when you finally, when I finally started to acknowledge God again, like, all right, God, help me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't know what to do. When you're lost. Yeah. When you don't I'm know like, what I'm, to do. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Like, I, I know I can't handle this on my own. Mm-hmm. Whatever it was, with whatever the it is that I was dealing with. Right. You know. I couldn't handle it in my own strength. So you need something else. And that's not, and look, we not perfect, no. No, heck no. We not perfect. So I don't want people to be on here like, who are y'all to be talking about how to be men and mental health and what gives y'all the right? Nobody perfect, bro. Nobody perfect. But we're going to share what we feel as though can help the black community and black men. And and, and, yeah, we saying that, but like, you know, if I I have some, anybody else that's up in here that's not black that need this information, grab it, you know? But at the same time, I know my focus, my heart is in the black community because, I mean, I grew up around, I'm black, you know, I grew up around the hoods and stuff like that. So, and I see what's going on with the community, you know what I'm saying? So, but in, and doing the research that I normally do, everybody, y'all call me conspiracy theory all, all y'all want, but it's funny how a lot of stuff I be talking about and I was trying to warn y'all about is happening right now, but y'all can sip y'all tea on that. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm getting at is that like, you know, there's things in, in, in this world that's like, that's meant and that's there to just both natural and spiritual that's just trying to target the black family. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, I feel as though, I'm not going to say it's my job, but I feel as though if I have the platform to do something about it or at least to influence people, I don't care if it's five people, two people, one people, thousand people, I don't care. Like, if some, some whoever needs to hear this is going to hear this. Absolutely. Everybody plays plays their role in this world. Whoever needs to hear what we're saying, y'all going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? It's meant for somebody. And it's like, don't, don't feel as though we're sitting here bigger than y'all or like, yeah, stronger than y'all absolutely and like we not. got all the answers man we going through like just like y'all going through life just so happen you know we have different formulas or we have a perspective that can help people you know it's like i never i never was one even like with the stuff we trying to do y'all could keep the fame i don't need no fame when all this music and stuff drop give me my notoriety give me my business uh, success give me my fulfillment give me my satisfaction let me make sure i'm leading people to where they got to be we influencing people the right way that's all i'm worried about real talk man and that's a real thing like you could you could be an influencer in a positive or a negative way yeah bro and that could affect somebody's real life that's why i don't like clout. Time. that's why i don't like clout. <laughs> you know because it's mean? like it's like people do anything it, it's sad but it's true people would do anything for clout, bro Mm-hmm. And it's like y'all not thinking about the things that y'all because you gotta think about it. We're adults talking about this. Mm-hmm. Social media is for everybody. You got people, kids on social media. You know what I'm saying? Granted, certain algorithms and stuff like that kind of keep them away from it. Oh, this, that, and the third is kids, YouTube, and all of that. But let's be real. You got a lot of kids dabbling. We was them kids dabbling in stuff we weren't supposed to be dabbling in. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like you got these influencers that's saying doing this, that, and the third. And granted, granted. I will say it is the parents' job to monitor what the kids are seeing and stuff like that. But parents aren't God either. You know, parents aren't perfect either. So you and then your kids gotta be around other kids who are getting influenced. But you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't like clout, bro. Because like people will sit there and do anything for it just to get. And I get it. It's like you you want something from nothing. You never had nothing, or you just want you just want more. Mm-hmm. And you know if well, if I do this, I do these type of videos. I do this for attention. I get the clout. I get the money. Blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? It's just. 
it's just, it's just tra- it's a tragic formula, but it is what it is at the end of the day. And that's why I'm trying to spread awareness. Because if you spread awareness and you spread, that's why I say kids these days don't have critical thinking skills. Because the more kids start to critically think and surround themselves with other kids that critically think, everything gets better. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it's fixed because I don't feel like, like I said before, I don't feel like in this mortal life that we live, there would never be utopia. Y'all can call me what y'all want. I don't feel like we will ever live in a utopia on this planet Earth because we need it's a it's a balance. You have to have. I'm not saying oh we have to have a crazy amount of murderers and evil people. No, but like you only learn certain things from contrast. And we can mm. we can talk about what good is, wow. but you have a better understanding of what good is when you understand what bad is, or you've experienced good and bad. You know, so it's like and I like I said, y'all call me crazy. Y'all call me whatever y'all want to call me. I do not believe there will ever be a day where a hundred percent of everybody on this planet is going to believe in the same thing and live the exact same type of life. Because if that was a thing and totalitarian totalitarianism was a thing, I felt I feel as though like we wouldn't even be needing to have these conversations. These conversations wouldn't even be having that to be had because we'll be operating and living in such an exact synchronized life to where it's like there would be no such thing as a different thought. Because we all thinking exactly the same thing. Mm-hmm. Everything would be strictly agreeance. And a lot of laws, like, yeah, think about it. Slavery was legal. They thought it was right. We needed somebody to disagree with that. You know, what if everybody was in cohesion with slavery? Bro. Like, oh, well, i just going to have a master for the rest of my life. Man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm glad some bro, look. Somebody had to rise up. Man. Yeah, yeah. sacrifice. And them. everybody be like, oh, if I was a slave these days, and everybody will be 10 years behind us. <laughs> Please stop with the cat. <laughs> oh boy, if I if master went blah blah blah, them people had psychological destruction. So it's so crazy. A lot of people like to say that the um the Willie Lynch theory book is fake or whatever. Regardless if you want to think it's fake or if it's real, I've read it multiple times. The tactics that them people put in that book is enough to break anybody. I don't care how strong you are, it's enough to break anybody. So like, just let's be real about it, bro. Mm-hmm. Let's be real about it. We living in a world. Well, not everybody has your best interest in heart. Not everybody care about other people. Not everybody going to sit there and actually, you know, do right and do what's best by other people. So you have to know how to do right by your, at least to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to look for validation and happiness through others whenever I know I could get it from myself. You have to. You got people, prime example, you got homeless people that want to be homeless and they happy. (laughs) They happy, you know what I'm saying? But to us. To a nigga like me, right. I can't even think about being homeless. <laughs> oh, no. If we just gonna keep it a buck, yeah, I can't even talk. think about being homeless because it's like mm-hmm. I know that's not the life I want. Mm-hmm. Granted, I can probably adjust, you know, and like have to, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do because I'm not gonna be no depressed person out here. I, I didn't been through it. I'm not doing that again. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, I know that's not for me. That's not the life I see fit for myself. But you got some people that feel like they need to live like that. If you can go back and and throughout history, you got people that's just nomadic. They don't even want a house. They, their whole life is I want to travel I want to, I don't want to put roots I want to go here and do that this and that and the third mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so like who are we to tell people how they live their lives That's but right. I can I can tell you that you should be treating people this type of way mm-hmm. because like I said before imagine nobody stood up against slavery imagine if we didn't have some type of break because even that's another thing too a lot of people don't even want to hear this but I'm, I just have to say it it's like little that y'all know after slavery they had black people black slaves that was free that became rich slave owners after that, not because they hated black people, but because imagine being born into slavery, right? You understand that these people live this type of life, have this type of money, own these type of people, and that's life. Because that's all you're a slave. That's all you know. So whenever slavery was abolished, or they started letting them go, they want to start their own slavery and colonies and stuff like that too. Because okay, this is how I obtain power. This is how I don't get whipped. This is how I don't get lynched. This is how I don't blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So then imagine the conversation that had to go from, okay, we free. Okay, well, bro, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. But, man, I could talk about this all day. But I say all that to say it's okay to go against the grain, but be mm-hmm. real about what you're doing to not only other people, but to yourself. Be aware. Yeah. Be mindful. Because if you don't do that and you start just living life and going off the roads and the rails and you out here just appeasing to your ego this and the third no telling where you're gonna end up you might die a lot sooner than you're supposed to be dead because nobody's immortal we all have to die but like i said before it's the journey it's not the destination it's the journey i know what i want out of life but at the same time i'm not gonna sit here and dismiss all the work 
all the life I have to live, all the experiences, all the people I have to meet and come in contact with. If I ignore this and just blow this off, my destiny that I think that's the end game is really not going to be because I'm not putting in that because I'm, I'm somebody I don't necessarily believe in multiverse theory, but it's a very interesting theory. If y'all if y'all not familiar with that, go YouTube that go YouTube um, multiverse theory and sacred geometry and you will see how it could be the the difference between me drinking that water bottle right right now and me just leaving it be can alter so much you know what i'm saying but it's like i'm not god mm. people need to realize that too we're not god so it's like we operate in the best we know how we're trying to understand the best we know how but at the same time you really not in control bro you only you only have so much power you only have so much i guess you can say input on what how life is going to go around you because i mean i'm doing my best to do this that and the third but i can't stop famine i can't stop a war right now you know i, I ain't got that time as much as i hate bro i can't stand i cannot stand war because it's stupid mm. it's over it's over stuff that it's a rich it's a you're fighting for rich people yeah and i'm gonna end it at that you're fighting for rich people and it, how you gonna send somebody to fight for your stuff like i don't <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm not even. I'm not going into that. I'm, well, how much time we got? How much time we got? <laughs> we got. Let me see. Oh, it's time for me to go. Go. Um, my bad, y'all. We we over. All right, y'all know how we ended. My bad, y'all. We get. We got too far. All right. So we normally for all the people that's new up in here. That's how we normally end the conversation. Also, I'm gonna be back tomorrow at eight fifteen, bro. Um, for everybody that, that doesn't know how we normally ended, I normally ended. What's going up, Torin? Torin, go back and watch all these videos because I'm knowing you. You'll feel these. Torin is one of the best producers. In Louisiana, period, untouchable. He mixed the song up, bum, 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 dun, 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 dun. and that's my homie, that's my <laughs> nigga. Shout out to Torrin. Shout out. Um, well, I was about to say, oh yeah, this is how we normally end the live stream. So I do like words of affirmations for the day. So you know how we started the live stream with like the phrases, and then you guys filled it in. Now I want you guys to um just repeat after me. So let's end our day with, I have received knowledge. I have received knowledge. I am going to grow. I receive happiness. I receive happiness. I receive posi positivity. I receive positivity. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am letting go. I am letting go. I am growing new. I am growing new. And I will continue. And I will continue. That's all the time we got, y'all. I'm definitely five minutes over. Shout out again for Dion for coming you, through man. for today, man. I love y'all. We Blessings. appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Sorry for all the... This, the uh, internet interruptions that was going on y'all know how life go whenever you start doing something positive everything else you know everything want to come against it but it's all love shout out to kevin i even know you was up in your shout, shout out to you kevin i see you but um i love y'all man i hope y'all having a great day i gotta get to work i gotta go train my clients and i'll be back tomorrow man peace and chicken grease